So welcome once again to a segment I haven't really done in a while called Crossover Pairings, where I talk about two characters that I from different shows that I think, yeah, they could probably work as a couple in their own way and talk about what they would be like as a couple. And I'm actually doing a follow-up to a previous one, following around Toffee from Star vs. the Forces of Evil and Lord Dominator from Wander Over Yonder. Now, I've talked about these two as something of they would be a villainous friends with benefits. But I decided to do a follow-up of what would it be like if they actually had a somewhat of a functional relationship, because when villains date, it's, it's never, it never goes well, does it? Think about it. When's the last time we've had a villain relationship that worked? Uh, the best one I can think of is... <laughs> the best one I can think of is of The Absorbing Man and Titina. I think they're still together as well. <laughs> um, there is another one. Completely forgot about it. Um... But yeah, there's there's not many, and when they are around, it's it's never pleasant. It is never uh, a pleasant time because usually it ends with someone going to jail. <laughs> anyway, but I honestly think this could work. I think the, a relationship between Toffee and Dominator could actually be you know beneficial for both of them. Now the big thing with this is that I've thought of it a little bit more about it is that with Toffee and Dominator, is that Toffee you know Dominator doesn't have, you know, Dominator needs something that Wander and Hater both have. She needs someone to keep her focused. You see, Wander has Sylvia. Hater has Peepers. Dominator really has no one to keep him, I mean, excuse me, keep her company. She has no one to play the straight man to her wild and, you know, just bombastic behavior. Toffee can be that character, while at the same, he can, he can play the straight man to her wild antics. And when I say wild antics, I mean blow shit up. <laughs> so, yeah, whenever, you know, Toffee would be the one just sitting back, just being like, excellent job, honey. Or, you know, let's think this through. <laughs> so that's how it would be, is like, Toffee would be the, you know, he, she would be, he would, they would be like Penn and Teller, um, yeah, where would Bulk be without his, his skull? Or Laurel without Harding? <laughs> you know, uh, or Penn without Teller, you know, it never works. Because, you know, I think, Tom, uh, you know, Dominator is kind of looking for some companionship because we've seen in that episode, The Night Out, and again, this is before, you know, I'm recording this before the series finale, so I can only imagine how that's going to turn out. But with that being said, you know, with this, um, with this pair, you know, Toffee would definitely play the cool and calculated member of the group, uh, you know, the member of the duo, and Dominator would be the one who would be this loud and very bombastic, but I think the thing is that Toffee would not really necessarily control Dominator, but more like aim her, you know. The big thing with, with Dominator is that she's very, she can be very spastic and, you know, very think on her feet, and very more like, I'm gonna do this for fun, but with Toffee on her side, I think if, to if Toffee and her were in a relationship, I think Toffee would be Again, not necessarily manipulating her, but more like aiming her, you know, keeping her, you know, focused, and making her even more of a threat, like giving her purpose to wrecking shit. So that would be the scary thing, is that he would be the one kind of being like that little voice in her head being, hey, let's destroy this, or hey, let's, let's, let's ruin those people's lives. So that would be the big thing here, is that Toffee would, you know, would be the one to keep her, you know, aimed like a cannon at somebody, and it would not turn out well. The other thing is that I can only, um, I'm going to bring up something in the last video I did about this, of um, one of my commenters by the name of Fox Mulder, who brought up an interesting point, is that it would be almost like a villain version of um, Huntress, in, Huntress in Question in Justice League Unlimited, where I can have had, almost imagine this scene where um, Toffee... Toffee and Dominator, and that's the other thing, Toffee, um, if they ever, you know, I would imagine their separate lives would keep them, you know, apart for a majority of the time, but it, and it would mostly be Dominator calling him instead of the other way around, and I can imagine during one of their phone calls, Dominator would be like, so what are you wearing, and Toffee would reply nonchalantly, <laughs> he would just say, black suit, white shirt, red tie, you're really bad at this, orange socks? <laughs> Yeah, that would that would probably be the extent because he wouldn't get it, nor would he care to get it. <laughs> but yeah, that would be the other thing is that this I don't know if they could be romantically involved, but definitely physically attracted to one another. They would be more or less be like 
<laughs> they would be like, you, bed, now. <laughs> that would be the full extent, is that it would be a very dangerous... It would be a pair of dangerous people with, fen with friends with benefits. That would be, I think, the full extent of their relationship, because I don't think they would... Tr I don't know if they would be romantically involved with one another. They would mostly like to keep it professional. Or professional as you can be as a villain fucking another villain. <laughs> so that's kind of, you know, that would be the big thing here, is that it would be more like, hey, I want to take over the world... Excuse me. <clears throat> I want to take over the universe or and destroy it. You just want to have, you know, you've got your own plans with tearing down the, you know, royal family and all these other mutants. Let's just keep it casual. <laughs> And I think Toffee would be full heart wholeheartedly agreeing on in that regard. So that's how it would kind of be, um, for the most part, is that they would be more like, hey, uh, I'm not doing anything. Get some wine. Come over. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how I kind of see it. <laughs> that's uh, it's really the extent of of how this relationship w would exactly play out, unfortunately, is something of that degree. Um, but, yeah. could Would they be staying around together? Probably. They would probably, you know... I think the thing with Dominator is that she's always trying to find somebody, you know... I think the core of it is that Dominator would, would appreciate someone who, can she, who she can find intelligent as probably, well, as probably very attractive. <laughs> So that would be the thing, is that she would stay... And Toffee would respect her power and, you know, appreciate having someone as powerful as Dominator in his corner. So I think they would stick around. There would be fights. Don't get me wrong, there would definitely be some arguments. I would not be want, want to be in the middle of that. Trust me. Um, but no, I don't... See, like, they would probably... It wouldn't be like a fight, break up, and fuck kind of thing. The more I thought of... The more I think about it is that it probably wouldn't be a fight, break up, and, you know, fuck, and then get back together. Um, it would be more along the lines of they just let their uh, they just let their significant other do the, uh, do what they want to do, and then you know when they have time or when they're really stressed out, it'd be like, hey, I'm <laughs> hey I'm free tonight. Get some wine. Come over. <laughs> that's uh, that's how I've kind of re looked at this kind of relationship. Would Toffee appreciate that kind of amount of energy and kind of spastic nature Dominator has? I don't know if he would appreciate it per se, but I don't think he would get tired of it. I don't think he would, um, he would get tired of her quickly. I don't think he would be, you know, standoffish with her, and, because he would be the cold and calculating one, and, like I said earlier, he would be the straight man, uh, playing the straight man in this, <laughs> straight man, I made joke. <laughs> um, he would definitely be the, uh, sensible one of the two, and like I said, he would, de if you have a, a galaxy-destroying, uh, young tyrant who can control lava and ice powers, you're definitely going to enjoy having that person in your corner for, you know, your own purposes. And again, I think um, Dominator just wants someone who can keep up with her, you know, someone who can, keep, you know, who can keep up with her and keep her entertained, and trust me, I'm pretty sure Do uh, Toffee can keep her entertained. <laughs> um, anyway... So you guys tell me, what do you guys think of Toffee and, uh, Toffee and Dominator be working as a crossover couple? Just comment below, let me know. I know a lot of people have said Bill as the... Cro as the um, everyone has said, like, Bill for would be a better pick for Dominator. And I would have... I, I don't bash ships. I really do not bash ships in any way, any way shape, or form. But the thing with, Dom with why I don't think Bill and, Dom and Dominator work is not because, well, Bill doesn't have a dick, so that's, that's one problem. It's because Do uh, Bill is much like Dominator in the sense that he can't control himself. He does, you know, he's wi he's wild and unpredictable, and you have two wild personalities, it's not going to go well. You, someone like Toffee would need to be there to kind of rein in the situation, you know, rein in that other person. So that's why I kind of think that Toffee would be the better choice. Not, again, not, I don't, uh, you know, if you ship Bill and Dominator as your crossover ship, that's totally fine. No ill will against you. Um, but I just kind of personally think Toffee would be the better pick, because I think Toffee would be um, more patient with her, because I feel like Bill and Dominator would just not get along after a while. Oh, it would be fun to hang out with, you know, it would be a fun little weekend thing, but I feel like Toffee would be the one who would kind of rein her in and, again, aim her at, his, at their respective enemies, and, you know, together they would realize, hey, <laughs> we're pretty dangerous together. You know, you bring the brains, I bring the pain, so... What more can you know? What more can I say about that? 
Anyway, so once again, you guys tell me, what do you guys think of Toffee and Dominator as a crossover pairing? Just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.